Hi there, I just wanted to share today, welcome to our short bread session today. And today I just want to talk about compassion. If you look at the Bible, look at Jesus, wherever he went, and you see the miracles that he did, it's always, there's a pattern in a lot of the miracles where it says that, and Jesus moved with compassion. And then, whatever happened then, was a miracle. And one of the miracles I saw was the one about him feeding the crowds, a couple of thousand people. And it says that the, the, the disciples came to him and said, Lord, let's send him away so that they can go and feed themselves. And Jesus said, and Jesus moved with compassion, said, we can't let them go. These guys are hungry. We have to feed them. And these disciples go, but Lord, how are we going to feed all these people? We only got so much money. And even if we use all this money, there's not enough bread in this town to go and feed 5,000 men. So I wasn't even counting the women and the children, just the men, 5,000. So it's a 8 to 10,000. And what stood out for me is the fact that it says that Jesus had compassion for them. These people had moved with him for a few days already. They spent time with him. And Jesus did, didn't just want to go and send them back. He said, let's feed these people. He had compassion on them. And compassion is what moved Jesus. Compassion is what caused miracles in Jesus' life. And there's another one where it says, and Jesus was standing there, and there's this funeral procession going by. And then he looked at the mother. The son passed away. And then he said, and Jesus moved with compassion. Compassion not for the boy, but for the mother. Jesus moved with compassion. He saw a heart. He saw a pain. And that caused Jesus just to do the miracle, raising a boy from the dead. Jesus moved with compassion. That is what fueled him. That was his motive, compassion. Compassion on what? Compassion on people. I think that's also the compassion. When Jesus hung on the cross, he saw all these people around him, and he had compassion for them. He had compassion not to let them down, not to let them keep on having trouble, not to let them suffer. He wanted to reconcile them back to God. Not only them, <clears throat> but also for others in the future. Jesus had compassion. He had compassion looking on me, he had compassion looking on you. He saw us way when he was on the cross, and he paid a price. He paid a price for me, and he paid a price for you. And we just want to say today that <clears throat> if it wasn't for his compassion, we would not have been here today. We don't have the chance to be reconciled back to God. We don't have the chance to experience his love, his presence, and his amazing compassion for us, his love. Because that's what it's all about, passion. The love of God, compassion of God for us. So when we experience His compassion, His comfort, we can go out and we can go and touch other people to let them also experience, they have our heart, let them experience God's love. Let them experience the compassion of God. So my prayer is that God will give us compassion, that we let us get so in love with Him that we will share His heart, that we will share His compassion. And that will drive us to go and share his heart with other people. So let us pray. Father, I just thank you, Lord, that everything you did, Lord, was because of love, Lord. And when we read in the Bible, it says you have done all these things. Jesus, move with compassion. I thank you, Lord, that you have paid a price for us. You have died on a cross for us, Lord, because of compassion for us, Lord, your love for us. I pray today, Lord, that our hearts will be touched, Father by your compassion, Lord. Let your compassion burn in our hearts, Father, so that we can touch people around us in the name of Jesus Christ. 
and let your compassion move each one of us in Jesus' name. Amen. May this message bless you. Be awesome. God loves you.